Welcome to WSO2 API Manager 4.0 Scenario Tutorials Part 8 on Analytics. This is a tutorial that is part of a series and can be used as a standalone tutorial on how to set up and view analytics for an API. For more details on the scenario and general prerequisites, please watch the previous videos on this series. Let's start the tutorial. GoGo Transit has identified a new business opportunity. Since the train arrival data contains the number of passengers in each arrival, it could be used to predict the crowd in the station for a certain time period. Therefore, the services built around the station such as stores in the mall and cab services could use this data to optimize the number of employees they require for the services for each day. Thus, GoGo Transit decides to provide the Passenger Details API to the public with the subscription capability that generates revenue based on the number of successful requests completed within a time period. As the solution, the Corio API Manager Analytics can be used to fulfill the stats and analytics need of the API Manager. It is a cloud analytics offering for the Corio API Manager and on-prem API Manager deployments. Let's try out this use case. Before we try out the use case, as the prerequisite, we need to register with the Analytics Cloud in order to use API Manager Analytics. Since API Manager Analytics 4.0 is a cloud solution, let's get registered in Corio. First, let's navigate to the Corio page and sign up. In order to sign in, you have various options here. Let's pick the sign in with Google option. And let's select one of the accounts that you have in your machine. Here you have to provide your organization name matching these criteria. Click on Create. So now we have successfully signed into the Corio page and here you can see the organization name that we have provided is listed here. If you have created multiple organizations, all those organizations will be listed under this. Next, we need to generate the on-prem keys in order to configure the analytics with API Manager. For that, let's click on this logged in user and under that you have this option called settings. If not, you can simply go to the left side panel and at the very bottom you have the same settings option. So you can click either one of those. So here you will get various tabs such as organization, project, testing, on-prem keys and API management. In, in this you have to click on this on-prem keys and click on this generate key button. For the key name, you can provide a value. And click on generate. So now we have generated the key successfully. Let's copy this. And you can close this step. Now that we have registered and generated the keys, let's configure the analytics with the API Manager. For that, let's go to the demo pack and under that we have APIM tutorial folder. In that, go to Docker files, conf, APIM, repository, conf and open the deployment.toml file. Once you open this file, search for analytics. So by default, we will be having this configuration where the APIM analytics has been disabled. So let's enable this and configure the on-prem key that we have generated here. Before we configure this, we have to enable this analytics. So set this enable value as true. 
Next, instead of this on-prem key, let's paste the value that we have generated. Next, save these changes. Once you have completed these changes, open the terminal and let's restart the API Manager component. For that, type docker-compose space restart API-manager. So we have successfully restarted the API manager. So let's generate some traffic to try out this scenario through the developer portal. To test this out, we have already deployed an API called Passenger Info API in the Carbon Supertenant domain. So le let's log in into the Carbon Supertenant domain. Use the username as Peter. And for password, use user123. Click on this Passenger Info API and click on the subscriptions. If you have not subscribed to this API previously, please subscribe. And if you have not generated the keys, you can generate it. And once you have generated the keys, you can generate the access token. Copy this access token. And let's see what are the resources available in this Passenger Info API. For that, click on this tryout button. And you can see we have only one API resource that is get passenger count. Let's try to invoke this API through the curl command and see whether we can generate the API traffic for this. So this is the curl command to invoke that API count. Instead of this token, let's paste the value that we have copied. Enter. So now we can see that we are getting the count as the response here. If you want, you can invoke this API, API call in multiple times so that you can create more traffic to this API. Now let's log into the Corio platform and see whether we have generated these statics and graphical data. So log into the Corio as the user you have previously registered. And on the left panel, you have this option called Insights. Click on that. And here you can see, under this drop down, you can select the period that you want to check the analytics details for. And you can change the environment here. So for the past 15 minutes, there have been total traffic of three, which means three API counts. And this is the 95th percentile latency and we didn't encounter any uh, API request error so therefore this count has been set as zero and the average error rate also it's set as zero and we also can view the API uh, call graphical view here so likewise you can generate more uh, API traffic for the same API or if you want you can even create more APIs and generate the API traffic for that and those statical details can be viewed in this page so you can get the statical data as well as with the graphical view of this so this is how the cloud solution API analytics works so hope this was a useful lesson for you As the next step in the upcoming videos, we'll deeply analyze and get some hands-on experience on rate limiting. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you have learned something new and useful. We'll meet you all soon in another informative video.